travel from Birmingham and I'm coming to celebrate my 40th, 40th anniversary of visiting Bosnia Herzegovina. My first visit was in 1982, July or August, something like this. When I came to Zagreb, to Belgrade, Zagreb, in Sarajevo, to see the one country before the division, before the war, and to discover how a Muslim community in Bosnia was tortured and prison by the communist stroke socialist regime led by Tito, was the president of Yugoslavia at that time. When I was walking yesterday on the street, it took me back to the memory of 1992. When there was no safety, there was no uh, peace. It was sure to kill and kill to kill. Especially on the market day, as I saw you. Because people would say that the market is full of Muslims. Somebody would shoot a missile or rocket and kills two or three hundred people in one uh, day. These are the ugliest days that the humanity has seen. People are slaughtered by night. People systematically raped, especially young girls and women. Actually, systematically. You know, systematically. You know, systematically. Organized to do that. And I've seen all these difficult times. But to manage to come through it is high heads with no resources and high heads. The memory took me back to the days where we could not be able to find water for 10 to 12 days to clean up our bodies. I was supposed to be meeting Ali Aizabegovic in Sarajevo and uh, this is September or October 1993. And I was in the office with Muhammad Kataji. Muhammad Kataji, you know, Karen? No. I will bring him to the dinner one time one day. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And the bus, not the bus. She was a coach, she's a coach, I'm a bus. <laughs> you are a player. He's a player. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and I was well, not allowed to use the water. To have a shower at that time. Either to drink it or just to clean ourselves when we go to the toilet. And I was waiting for the meeting with the president for days. And all of a sudden, the news came that he is waiting for us. And I have to have a shower. But we don't have water. You know what I have? What I have done? I went to the toilet, put a spray, to spray all my body. Because I can smell my body. It smells awful. <laughs> awful. Awful. <laughs> smell because I'm going to meet the president. This was the condition of somebody who was in Sarajevo only for two weeks. How about the people who used to live here their life? The family they are going to visit tomorrow was the only life saving for the people to bring medicine, to bring food. I remember that the liter of oil at the time was 60 mark. Or more. We used to cross the tunnel to go to buy.
buy a tray of eggs for their children. The condition of that was Mount Eggman was there in an open field. You have not seen it this time. A lot of you, all the world in here, are young like you and me. And a lot of people got shot dead because of the fire. This was the days which you people have not seen. But you have to live through the agony of the people who managed to make it with high hopes. Our purpose for this trip is to learn how to learn, to observe, to listen, uh, to, 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 to learn how to observe and to learn how to listen and to learn how to comprehend and digest the knowledge we have and to learn how to extrapolate your dream of fire, becoming a big and actually very famous individual in your speciality. We have to be something. We are not here just to look at the history of agony. We are here to change agony to joy, to change words into action, and change action to change, and change the change into bending, and change the bending into bonding, and change the bonding into the creation of new society that everyone would be so proud to look up at the society you create, and you make, and you follow, and you be a part of it. I was mentioning yesterday the James Webb Telescope. Where is Muhammad Ali Telescope? Where is Ali Mahmoud Facebook? We don't want to have young nuts. I mean nuts. Young do the budu, who means nothing. Who means nothing, because they are not more than shadows. Waiters, and they have no impact. And the Prophet ﷺ mentioned a long time ago. You'll be, the people will come rushing on you. Like the people who come hungry to eat from the big pot of food. And you will become, will become the little creamy layer of the wave in the sea. Have no color, have no weight, have no impact, have no shape. The set is that because I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Say I love you four. I love you five. What is the one? 
بس حب الدنيا the love of dunya and the fear of death and I'm not prepared to die because I've done nothing I wasted my life talking, talking, talking fashioning, fashioning, fashioning following, following, following and not leading, leading, leading we have been born to become leaders don't ever live your life without becoming a leader you have to find a way to make yourself a leader. Don't come and tell me how. You have to try. The people before us did not have Cambridge University or Oxford University or what is it in America I call it? Uh, Yale, Harvard. Yale, Harvard and others. No. They have their hearts, their mind, their soul, their vision, their vision, their message and they are focusing to make the change. The Bay of Naaman, when you went to Persia to talk to the Faisal, the Tazar the of Persia, is it? Right? Tazar? What do you call him? Faisal. Caesar. Caesar. No, no, that's a Caesar. The other one is Zar. Huh? Zar. Zar. I said Zar. The only one known Zar is Muali. No, not Muali, Mu Salah. You know what? This Zar told him, bring this Arab, this Arab, Bedouin, desert man to me. He was riding a very old horse, skinny horse, very old, almost rotten clothes. Even his sword was not shiny. But you know what he said? To him, the king was telling him, what do you want? We can give you food, we can give you drink, we can give you wheat, we can give you whatever you want. He said, no, 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 no. A man who has no wealth and no authority and no kingdom, he said to him, we came here to tell you a message to take the slaves from the slavery of mankind to the slavery of Allah from the narrowness of dunya to the ease and the comfort of akhirah from deep al dunya the sa'at al dunya wal akhirah this is what was the message of Rabbi ibn Amr who came with a message who can't live can't afford to live without having a message can't afford to live without having a mission can't afford to live without having a clear objective and that we can't afford to live that we have when we believe that we are going to become the leader because humanity needs you whether we like it or not have we been trying all the different ideology philosophy of thinking cultures and we are where we are nowadays more conflicts more famine more displacement more refugees more unjust more corruption more, 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 more. And you are hiding in the shadow of the others. So you have no shadow. You shadow others. This is the message. We're not here in Bosnia. See some young, beautiful children. To sing with them. Or to dance with them. Or to crack jokes with them. But we're going to come here to live the issue. And to take the issue with us. The issue to be living inside our hearts, at the back of our minds, and inside as well, the inside of our soul. To be creative, to be innovative, or innovative, to be pioneering. I cannot afford to see young people like you becoming nuts. Not anymore. Not anymore. And not anymore. You know why? Because if we leave this world, I do not leave this world. Somebody like me is still 17. Next year is going to be 27. And then
the next year after that, 37. And every year, I'm 10 years older. I cannot afford to die without you taking the problem, the stick to carry on implementing the mission and spreading the message and fulfilling your, our aims, not your aims, our dreams, not your dreams, our inspiration, aspiration, not your aspiration. I cannot afford to die without you being standing up like rocks. You know, Allah, when He created earth and skies, السماء رفعها بغير عمل ترونها. Allah raised the skies on top of pillars. You can imagine now if you go to the street outside, there's a pillar supporting the sky. بغير عمل ترونها, but you cannot see the pillars, as Allah said in the Quran and James said. Come today with his telescope and showing us what Allah has mentioned to us 1400 years ago. It's a shame. It is a shame. It is a shame on all of us, including myself, of not translating what's in the Quran in science and technology, in discovery and innovation, pioneering and leadership. It's a shame. The Ummah of Iqra, Iqra is not literacy or illiteracy. Iqra is extracting knowledge. Knowledge is more than education. Knowledge includes everything. Even a layman could be knowledgeable than any one of us in this room, or all of us collectively. A man or a woman in the middle of the desert could be more knowledgeable than highly educated people in Harvard. Or Oxford, or Cambridge, or Minnesota University, or whatever you call it. Whatever you call it. Because knowledge is beyond education. You don't come and tell me that you got your PhD or your master. It means nothing for me. It means nothing. It's just a paper. But knowledge, Ekra is knowledge, Ekra is culture, Ekra is philosophy. Extra, extra is actually bringing the values of the knowledge you have to save the, the, the community that you want to serve or that you claim that you are serving. We are here to make the change. But the change has to come in my heart first. When we look at the journey of Islamic belief over the last nearly 40 years, who started from nowhere, from nothing to everywhere, and something and everything. I'm not talking philosophy. I'm talking facts. We left the issue when we had no office, when we had no desk, when we had only some young school boys coming and help us in the office. To do that office in a hall in Birmingham to start with young school children, secondary school children, and then young university students who started this movement, which I call it humanitarian movement. We managed with you to create this humanitarian movement, global humanitarian movement with no vision, no strategy, but with the heart and the mind and the soul on the objective to help people. Then after that, we grew. And the more we grew, we keep growing. We build every year a new layer, a new store, a new, a new floor in the multi-story building, multi-dimensional philosophy of thinking. In the good old days, we used to raise funds for emergency. Now we're talking about philosophy, about culture, about research, about development, 
about advocacy, about humanitarian diplomacy, about all this. And your generation will talk about something else later on. After we leave, after, after, after I leave. I'm going to leave anyway, whether I like it or not. But you have to carry on the mission. Please, brothers and sisters, use every minute in this journey in Sarajevo and the different cities and live the issue. Let Bosnia to live inside you and let your dream to live inside the hearts of the Bosnian children. Let humanity to live inside your heart and let your heart is being able to have the capacity to include and accommodate the seven or eight billion individuals, including animals, including birds. I'm serious. We have to look after the animals and one of the animals. That's why I was laughing now, because we should look after the animals because you speak animals. Because so. I am an animal. You are right. You are right. Because I started my journey as a donkey. You like it? What is the one? Uh, what did you say about the donkey ship? You were in the meeting. Yes. Come on, come on next to me. He is Joshua. Come on, Masala. Yes. <laughs> what did I say about the donkey ship? Um, you were describing. No, no, no. Tell the people, not to me. Oh, okay. He was. Um, this was a different baseball team, the leadership back in Canada. Okay. Dr. Hani uh, was FaceTiming in. Uh, yeah. It's a leadership conference. So I thought his five stages that he went through to get to where he is today. And uh, thank say you. the five stages. Say the five stages. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's one stage. <laughs> Number six, which I remember what Sister Sabina is saying, you become a cloud. From becoming a donkey in my behavior and work and dedication of the donkey, because I love the donkey, and there's a song in Arabic called <laughs> I love you. Can you sing it? highly mature, knowledgeable, is to be able to communicate with the little children. How can you communicate with the little children? Once upon a time, I was chairing the board of management of the Islamic League. And we want to raise funds for the children. This was 1995-1996. And I was late, and all of them late. I came to the room in a Mickey Mouse costume with my head going this way, my arms going this way, and my short going this way. And everybody was laughing. But when I keep talking, my head go against my movement. So, but this was a message. Maybe 25 years ago, 27 years ago, is how you communicate with the little children who can force their parents to donate to Islamic belief of that time. That's why now I was qualified from the donkey stage into a clown stage. Keep rising. Keep rising. That's why today I'm standing next to Mosala. Give, the, give them a message and tell them that you donate all your money to the Islamic belief. No, it's not donkey. Now we are going to make your money. Yeah. Okay, can you do that soon? So, what do you want? Say whatever you want. To, to donate money? No, no, anything you want. Give us a message. Your millions, all your millions. You are the, okay. you, so, you know, my 
hair is tight and the hair is tired. Okay, I let go. Okay, I, I think I have something to say. Have, yeah, go on. Okay, let's assume I am Muhammad Salah. I'm go on. Let's and then Messi. Messi. Well, Christian Ronaldo. Messi. Okay, I'm a famous <laughs> soccer player, hypothetically. Yeah, go on. And, uh, and I, I think what I want to say that is relatable is that uh, every person um, has a certain sphere of influence, certain sphere of power, of knowledge, of recognition. Uh, being recognized, being known, uh, even if it's followers on Instagram. Uh, that's kind of like the, the current um, currency of, of, uh, influence. of influence. And I think what we have to do is use whatever small or big power that we have in order to have a positive change. I think it's a shame a very big shame if we have somebody uh, who is known, who is well known, but then in order to preserve the, the sphere of influence that they have, they compromise on their values. And, and you start to think, you, you know, let's say you have a conversation with them, why didn't you, you know, support this cause, or why don't you do this, or why don't you speak up? You have a sense of influence. They're going to say, well, if I do this, I'm going to lose the influence that I have, but then again, what are you living for? Are you living just to accumulate followers? Are you living to accumulate people? And, and, and is this is this your life message? Like, what is what are your values? Uh, is is your values just so that you can eat, sleep, make money, and, and, and go to bed? There's other people who live this life, who, who live the life of fame. Many in, in in history came and left and have no impact and. Are we going to be that? Yeah. Like, if you want to be that, then you can leave and, and live that life. I think I think what uh, Johanny is, is trying to say is that don't be that. Don't be just somebody who just goes through life as if, you know, go, you know as if, like, you just came and, and went for no reason. You yeah. should use whatever, whatever small influence that you have to do, some positive impact, even if it's small. Even if it's small, just try your best. Uh, thank you. Because you are most of us, I am Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. I will give it my first million. Okay. And how much you give it? Double. Double. Okay. Now, I'm going to have some practical, actually, example of what uh, Brother uh, Mosala was saying and Joshua was saying. Sister Alma, which I call her Alma, <laughs> I know she's a knowledgeable lady. She has a project and she's fighting hard with no resources to do it. Two, three minutes. Introduce yourself to your project. Okay, uh, I'm here because I'm founder of charity organization Hand on Heart. It's a foundation in Bosnia, Rukna Sarce. <laughs> Can you repeat it? Rukna Sarce. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So, uh, for um, the 2019, uh, we are focused on uh, work with the children. We are trying to help them to uh, have a better future. And one of our educational programs is uh, teaching uh, children languages. So I see here a great opportunity to invite you all to join that project and to be with us in that project in a way to work with kids. It's only one hour per week, so you will lead uh, conversational courses with kids. Uh, just intention is for them to practice English language in order to be able to enroll some universities around the world to educate themselves. So I see this as a great opportunity to join us. Thank you. And of course, if you have any other ideas how to help kids from Bosnia, uh, we have a different actually online programs, uh, school programming for kids, uh, besides languages, any kind of psychological workshops, uh, we are open for all new ideas. To, and I really hope that we will have a great cooperation together. Thank you. <laughs> and I want to know, you are a star, if a star cannot fail, because I'm not a star, I'm just trying to hold the stars together. You, Mosala, and Joshua. Laura. <laughs> What? See, I, my question now. I move up. I moved up from the donkey to the clown. So I'm rising and elevated from the donkey stage to the clown. What else I can be elevated to after the clown? What else I become? Can you give me a suggestion? Well, 
Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> the Guru. You mean donkey, not a lion? Yeah. Um, Smaller. Batman. Four. Yes. Batman. 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 Yes. There's no Muhammad, no? <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, I can wait for this. I can be after becoming a clown. Huh? Yusuf, yes, I can see it. Uh, it's coming out. Like <laughs> a, a believer. A student. A student. A bird. A, a bird. Okay, thank you. Very good suggestion. A clown, a bird, Soccer. a believer, a student, a uh, fat man, Ali man, I could become Hany Bond, Mahmoud Bond, James Bond. Bond. James Bond. James Bond has <laughs> gun. Anything else? Lost us. <laughs> what? Who is there? Still still alive. Still there. Gala Sha Sha Shaza, what what I can be later on? After becoming a Batman, a, a clown. Uh, cow. Cow. Anything you put your mind to, inshallah. Oh, that's very heavy. That's very deep. Huh? Thank you.